This is the tale of Bilbo Baggins, a hobbit with no idea of the adventures about to befall him or their consequences. My precious, it must know the way out! Burn the trees! In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Bilbo Baggins was a respected hobbit. He lived a comfortable life and never had any adventures. So Bilbo was rather surprised when Gandalf the wizard invited him on a great adventure. He politely declined. But not before accidentally inviting Gandalf to tea. The next day, Gandalf arrived with 13 hungry dwarves. They ate everything Bilbo had to offer, then sang sad songs and listened to their king, Thorin Oakenshield. At dawn, we begin the quest of Lonely Mountain. We will win back our ancient kingdom under the mountain, reclaim our treasure, and have revenge. On the cursed dragon smile. King Thorin, you need a burglar to steal into Lonely Mountain. Here he is, Bilbo Baggins. Huh? Oh. Excitable little fellow, but fierce as a dragon in a pinch. Dreamt your way into this, you will have to dream your way out!
Get them, you filthy ratbags! Tear them apart! It was just a dream. Just a dream. But what an adventure! Despite his fear, something awoke within Bilbo. He wanted to visit distant lands, explore caves, and carry a sword instead of a walking stick. To his own astonishment, Bilbo agreed to go. You've slept half the morning, Mr. Baggins. That won't convince Thorin that you're a fierce burglar. Hmm. I'll show him if I have to walk to the east of east and fight the wild wereworms in the last desert. For now, you'll just have to walk to the Green Dragon Inn. The dwarves are waiting. But get No time for it, and no time to pack. Just fetch your walking stick. Who knows where you will end up today? <laughs> Bungo and Belladonna Baggins. A hobbit couldn't ask for finer parrots. Hmm, what's this? My pocket has sprouted a hole. Oh, my silver pennies must be scattered all over Hobbiton. I was thinking about Bullroarer Toot. You know all about Bullroarer Toot, don't you? Of course. He's my great, great, great. He was quite an adventurous hobbit. Won the Battle of the Greenfields, he did. Knocked the Goblin King's head clean off with a wooden club. Sailed through the air and went right down a rabbit hole. Well, that's where we got the game of golf. Mm-hmm. So I've heard. Ah, Bullroarer Toot. I wish you young people knew more of your histories. Beautiful day, isn't it? Good day, Gamma. I seem to have lost my quilting needle somewhere in town. If you find it, could you please bring it to me? Certainly, Gamma. Oh, I'm hungry. It's almost noon and I've only had two breakfasts. There's a lovely sea cake cooling in my windowsill. I think I'll head home for a morsel before lunch. Bilbo Baggins. I saw your visitor. Are you meddling with wizards? Wizards are meddling with me. Another lad going off into the blue for mad adventures. You might as well be some use before you go. Fetch my butter churn, please. Where is it? It's in the shed round the corner. Just place the butter churn on the porch when you find it. Bilbo, have some berry crumble tea cakes. I made them fresh this morning. Oh, and Bilbo, watch out for that wizard. We need a lot of food on our journey.
I saw a dwarf wandering around town. Did you see him? He had a beard so long he tucked it into his belt. He was dressed so outlandishly. He must have gotten lost on his way to breathe. Apples in all Hobbiton are in that apple orchard. I'd get some if I could climb those cliffs. That wizard is responsible for so many lads and lasses going off into the blue for mad adventures. Why anyone would set foot outside the Shire is beyond me. Hey, what are you doing? Wanna play some hide and seek? I'm afraid I'm in a bit of a hurry. We'll go hide. You seek. Ready? Go! Children. The bridge is out. But I need to get to the other side. I could fix it, but I'll need my hammer and nails. Fetch me hammer. I saw Carl playing with it up by the waterfall. There are some jars in the mill. You'll have to break them open to get the nails. Bring back me hammer and nails and I'll fix the bridge. insist I tell them all about dragons. Where do they ever hear of such creatures? Respectable hobbits don't discuss such things.
Pardon me, Carl. Do you have your father's hammer? He needs it to fix the bridge. Here it is, Mr. Baggins. I'll have to find something else to play with. Lad, this shouldn't take long. Good is new. Hello, Bilbo. We still need more supplies for our journey. If you happen to find any provisions, bring them back to me. Good morning, Lorella. Good morning, Bilbo. Bumber the Dwarf tried to buy some sugar and spice, but I couldn't find the keys to my spice chests. Your mother had a talent for opening locks without a key. Do you have that talent too? Pick the locks on those chests and you're welcome to all the spices you need. to you, Mr. Baggins. Hello, Hellman. <laughs> those scarecrows are useless. Look at those crows sitting there mocking me. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll give you a sack of wheat if you get rid of those crows. Ah, very well. Thank you, Bilbo. I thought I'd never get rid of those crows. You're looking a little thin, Bilbo. You don't want to waste away, do you? You're too good at this game.
you, Hamfast? What was that? Come out of there, Badger! That you, Hamfast? Who's there? Eh? What was that? That you, Hamfast? That you, Hamfast? Bilbo, did you find my quilting needle? Here it is. Thank you, Bilbo. Please take these sausages, the best in Hobbiton. I've got all the food Bomba could possibly want, at least for the afternoon. How did you find me? Bilbo. Perhaps you'll be some use to us after all. Now get into the Green Dragon Inn. The others are waiting. Bravo. You made it in time. The others are waiting for you inside. When you are ready to leave Hobbiton, just open the door to the Green Dragon Inn. Time you arrive, Mr. Baggins. Let the journey begin. He regretted leaving home almost immediately. In the dangerous lonelands, 
they found themselves cold, wet, and low on food. Suddenly, Balin noticed the light of a fire. Thorin sent their new burglar, Bilbo, to investigate. Tell Bomber to stop grumbling. A little starving will help slim him down. Ah, it's bratted rain. I'm catching cold. Could you please bring me a Burberry plant? Now it's the burglar's turn. Scuttle off and investigate that fire hut. See if it's safe. I don't like these parts. The servants of the Witch King mined and tunneled these lands many years ago. Their gear is still scattered about. Dance in the lowlands are different than your kindly shire crop. Some of these leaves have teeth. Oh, I wish you'd burgle us a nice hot dinner. I'm starving. Our food supplies are low, after one of our ponies took fright and bolted. Friendly as our Shire hounds. Wolves! One was bad enough. Those ledges look treacherous, Bilbo. If they're too far apart, use your walking stick to help you jump. Good luck, Bilbo. Burberry leaves. Just what Keeley needs for his coat. Oh, thank you, Bilbo. Floodgate, I can shut off this water.
What vile creatures! raise the water level, perhaps I could make my way across. Can't go back now. Oh my. 
<sighs> mutton yesterday, mutton today, and blimey, I don't look like mutton again tomorrow. Not a blinking bit of man flesh have we had. Shut your mouth. You can't expect folk to stop here just to be eaten by you and Bird. <gasps> Three wicked, huge trolls. Oh, oh I, I'd better tell the dwarves. Oh, but they'll just say that a really first-class burglar would have picked the trolls' pockets. Oh, wait, a pocketbook. I could sneak past them when they aren't looking and take it. Oh, I'll need to stay away from those noisy leaves, though. can tiptoe past him while he yawns. What is it?
When the dwarves crept up to investigate, the trolls popped them all into sacks. Suddenly, the trolls started arguing. Gandalf imitated their voices and tricked them into a nasty fight. They fought until dawn. When the sun rose, the trolls turned to stone. The trolls must have a cave nearby to hide from the sun. We must look into it. Find the troll cave, Bilbo. Silly time to go pocket picking when we wanted fire and food! Gandalf said he left our company to look ahead. I asked him what brought him back in time, and he said, looking behind. Evil creatures live in these hills. Be careful. Find the troll cave, Bilbo. We need supplies. See you found a training scroll. This land is full of lore from the old kingdom of Arnor. They used these scrolls to teach combat tactics to their young warriors. Now the scrolls are scattered all over this desolate land. You will learn new fighting skills when you open them. <laughs> Ah! 
That was quite a climb. I have to catch my breath. Any sign of the troll cave? No. Or the key. Key? Long ago, the Witch King's people built strongholds in this land. Wicked creatures like trolls get the keys and use the locked vaults to hide from the sun. She's hurt. Help me. I was injured by three trolls. I barely managed to escape into these caves. My healing draft is in the next chamber. But I'm too weak to get it. Can you bring it to me? Yeah! 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 Yeah!
If Fulrora Took could see me now! Draft. Oh, I hope I'm not too late to save her. Oh, thank you, friend. I am Liana of the Wood Elves. Bilbo Baggins of the Shire, at your service. I'm searching for the Troll Cave. Do you know how I can find it? You will need this if you want to find the Troll Cave. But beware, these caverns are filled with the Witch King's traps.
sunlight again. Oh, drat these dark caves.
Hey! What a beautiful blade, with elvish runes. Barely a pocket knife for a troll, but perfect for a hobbit. But you'll need a name. I know. I will give you a name, and I shall call you Sting. Soon the company reached Rivendell, home of the elves. Elrond told them of a secret entrance to the dragon's lair, a door revealed only by the knocking of a bird called a thrush. After resting in Rivendell, they set out to cross the Misty Mountains. Evil things and dreadful dangers awaited them, like stone giants and worse.
I've sent Feely and Keeley ahead to look for shelter. Would you please give Bofor a hand starting that fire? Better get that fire going, or I'm going to freeze right out of my skin! The bomber is making me hungry. Uh, this wood is too wet to catch fire. <clears throat> Perhaps you need dry firewood. Well, if you could find any, I would be in your debt. When we reach the Lonely Mountain, We'll use my grandfather's map and key to open a secret entrance. A door even the dragon doesn't know about. <sighs> These mountains are crawling with goblins. Why don't you go help Bofa? Leave me alone. Hello, Bilbo. Feely and Keeley went up the high path to look for shelter. I hope they find some food, too. You have courage, little hobbit. You remind me of my boy, Gimli. I'm keeping watch for stone giants. We heard some down the low path around that bend. So we sent Feely and Keeley to scout out the high path instead. I'll just look for firewood. If I see any giants, I'll come right back. Firewood for Bofa. Well, there's no going back. Oh, how will I ever get back to the dwarves? I suppose if I follow the edge of this mountain, I'll find my way to their trail. There's no going back. Oh, 
How will I ever get back to the dwarves? Hmm. I suppose if I follow the edge of this mountain, I'll find my way to their trail.
Sorry. What have you done with my burglar? Bofa sent him to find firewood. If he's not back yet, then drat him, I say. He's not been very useful. I brought him, and I don't bring things that are of no use. I hope he's better at dodging boulders than he is at fetching firewood. Those stone giants are throwing boulders at me. I'd better hurry. Looks weak. Perhaps I can trick those stone giants into making a bridge for me. Dangerous. 
dangerously thin. Looks like it's missing some pieces.
There we go. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Oin said he last saw a Bilbo along the low path. The old dwarf mines are down there. The goblins drove the dwarfs from those strongholds long ago. Now, all manner of vile creatures roam those halls. You dwarves will find Mr. Baggins, or I'll go alone and leave you to get out of here as best you can.
another one of these odd contraptions. And it's missing pieces, too. Thank you. 
What happened? There were giants and, and wolves and any new. Plenty of time for stories when it's warm and dry. There you are, Bilbo. Crash, crash! Crush, smash! Take them to the Great Goblin! This should stop those goblins. There 
cares more about you than meets the eye, Mr. Baggins. The dwarves made camp just around the bend. Come along, Mr. Baggins. Well, here's your confusticated firewood! Ah, well. Ah, good lad. The sun sleeps, and so shall we. Time to make camp, Mr. Baggins. They slept soundly in a dry cave. Then, Bilbo heard a noise. In the darkness and confusion, no one saw Bilbo crack his head on a rock and fall into shadow. When he awoke, Bilbo was alone. Lost again! for this glowing blade. Yeah. 
find another way around. service. I am Balfour of the Iron Hills. I am grateful for your service, but freeing me would take the service of a hundred dwarves, or a thousand elves, or one burglar. Hmm. Very well. Go down into the mines and find a large gate. Bribe Ugslap the guard and he'll open it. When you get through that gate, climb up to the jail. That's where they take me when I finish my work on the mining contraptions. Free me and I will help you escape. Bribe the guard at the main gate. Free me from the goblin jail and I'll help you escape. Get back to work, dwarf! What's that noise? Goblins! the gate I need. What an odd looking contraption.
Get it! Get it! Take it! Take it. might be useful. Lower this bridge. Now those barrels might be useful.
Could you open this gate for me, sir? Please? What are you? A little rabbit got away from the cooks? Well, little rat, if you want this gate open, you bring me the wart stone from Crugby. Fix the broken dwarf lift, and you can steal the wart stone from Crugby. This lift to get the wartstone looks like it's missing a lever.
can ride that lift now. Goblins don't mind me starting all their contraptions. <laughs> Goblins heard of key rings?
Take a ride. Here's the lever I need to fix that lift.
Do you like the pain? I've found your wartstone. Now please open the gate. <laughs> oh, I'll open the gate. Yeah. <laughs> 
Those guards look much too strong for me. I'd better not try to fight them. There's Balfour. I need to set him free. especially ugly today. Is that you, Baggins? Shh! Don't alert the guards. Get me out of this cage! How? That switch opens the gate to this cell. Yes, but what about the guard? Once this gate is open, you won't have to worry about him anymore. Hey, Goblin! You're just a filthy spawn of an elf! Shut up! Freedom! Time to play! Baruch Hazard! For many long years, those goblins forced me to work on these dwarf-built mining contraptions. Honor demands their destruction. Follow that path. The minecart will take you out of these goblin caves.
This is the way out of here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nasty, slimy things live here. Lost again in the tunnels, Bilbo found a gleaming golden ring. He put the mysterious ring in his pocket. Then he realized he was not alone. Bilbo introduced himself to the mysterious creature named Gollum. They agreed to play the ancient game of riddles. The rules were simple. If Gollum lost the game, he would show Bilbo the way out. But if Bilbo lost, Gollum would eat a tasty dinner. Soon, Bilbo couldn't think of any more riddles. <laughs> Is it scrumptious? What a, what a 
have I got in my pocket? Mm. Not fair. No. Well, that's my riddle. Hands, it's a knife, this string, it's or, or nothing. All wrong. Now, show me the way out. <sighs> we must go and get something first. Oh, what have I got in my pocket? My ring! <sighs> my precious! <sighs> what has it got in its nasty little pockets? It must know the way out! Bilbo followed Gollum out of the cave and found his friends on the other side of the Misty Mountains. But they were not out of danger. A pack of wild wargs attacked. When they reached safety, Gandalf said goodbye to his old friend, the Lord of the Eagles. At the edge of Mirkwood, Gandalf announced he was leaving again. He showed them a trail through the forest and warned them not to stray from the path. Soon their supplies ran low. One day, the hungry dwarves saw wood elves feasting in the forest, and they left the path. The wood elves vanished. Bilbo found himself lost and alone. Hello! Thorin? Confusticate these dwarves. They knew better than to get lost in Mirkwood Forest. Well, I'd better find them.
this is Dory's helmet. I do hope he's all right.
Finally, a camp. Oh, oh my. Hello. Who are you? You don't look like any elf or goblin. I am Corwin, huntsman from Lake Town. Hello, I'm Bilbo Baggins, a hobbit of the Shire, and, and I'm looking for my friends. Did you see thirteen dwarves run through here? No, but I did see the spiders carry about a dozen wriggling bundles of spider silk through that web. My friends were not so lucky. The spiders killed every man in my camp. Including my brother. I am sorry about your brother. You could burn through those webs if you had some oil. You will find some in the camp to the north. Perhaps you could find some oil in the camp to the north. Then you could burn through the thick webs. There's nothing like this in Hobbiton.
These spiders ruin everything they touch. Someone must have lost this. I'd better keep it safe. should help burn those thick webs.
I say, Corwin, I found this ring in the other camp. Is this yours? My brother's ring? It's been in our family for generations. Thank you, Gentle Hobbit, for finding this keepsake. Perhaps you could find some oil in the camp to the north. Then you could burn through the thick webs. The path is clear. Good luck finding your friends. The path is clear. Good luck finding your friends. Nori's Cape. I must be on the right track.
Looks as if three different objects fit on these pedestals. This boot belongs to Ori.
Arlene's belt. They've got to be close. Yeah. 
If I don't cut those dwarves down, the spiders will eat them for sure. Wait, my sisters, there is a disturbance. Who intrudes? Is some creature trying to steal our food? I think I'd better hurry.
Shoot it, Bilbo! <sighs> Others, Bilbo. This web. We will find them again after we send him to a beautiful sleep.
You killed both my sisters. They were stupid and soft, but I am neither. Goodbye, small thief. are gone now. I'd better catch up with the dwarves. The Wood Elves returned and captured the Weary Dwarves, but Bilbo popped on his ring just in time. The Wood Elves took the Dwarves into the Elven King's halls and closed the gates. again. Without Gandalf, I'll have to do the rescuing. I'd better not let those elves catch me, or we'll never make it out of here. Elves have keen senses. I'd better not get too close, even with my ring.
that lack beards. No. Why? I spoke to their leader, Thorin Oakenshield. The one in the deep cellar. I wonder what this is for.
What was that? Who's there? Hello, Bilbo. You and your companions have done us no harm. I fear that we are the stubborn ones to keep your friends locked in our cellars. I will help you free them. To get into the cellars, you'll need three crystals. Elven King Thranduil keeps them close by his throne. Be wary of the other wood elves, Bilbo. I am the only friend you have here. I sense an unseen presence wandering our halls. Minions of the Necromancer? No, not evil. Just uninvited. Strange. Is someone there? Is someone there? Perhaps seen. Is someone there? Is someone there? It was nothing. I have show yourself. As have the prisoners revealed the errand that brought them to trespass here? They still refuse to answer, my liege. Is someone there? Perhaps it was nothing. Show you what was that? I 
suppose it was nothing. A strange noise. No more than a whisper. What was that? What was that? I suppose it was nothing. I suppose it was too preoccupied. Hail, friend. The gods have caught dwarves crossing Mirkwood, making their dwarvish racket. They have either great courage or great folly. Who's there? Hmm? What's that? There's no one there. Hail, friend. The gods have caught dwarves crossing Mirkwood, making their dwarvish racket. They have either great courage or great folly. Hmm? Hmm? There's no one there. 
Perhaps it was just the wind. Was that the wind? Show yourself! Must be nothing. Have you heard? The White Council has taken the fight to the Necromancer. That vile sorcerer has plagued this land long enough. Is someone there? Perhaps it was... Is someone there? Bilbo, I thought I'd never see you again. Is everyone all right? You must find a way to escape, Bilbo. My ears may be old, but I swear I hear rushing water beyond that hallway. Explore that hall and see if you can find an escape route. There's nothing out there. There's something strange here. I think I heard footsteps. There's nothing out there. Show yourself! There's something strange here. Seems safe now. There's nothing out there. Is someone there? I think I heard footsteps. Perhaps it was not. Seems safe now. I think I heard foot. Show yourself! Seems safe now. Time to get these barrels packed up and sent to Lake Town. Hmm. This looks promising. If I can free the dwarves, I'll pack them into barrels and send them down the river to Lake Town. What was that? Yes. 
seems safe. Show yourself. Seems safe now. Is someone there? I found a way out. The elves send barrels down the river to Lake Town. If we pack ourselves into barrels, the elves will make our escape for us. We shall be bruised and battered to pieces and drowned too. But I suppose we have no choice. You'll need to put Galley on the butler to sleep before you get into the barrels. An elf! It's all right. She's a friend. You must make Galleon drowsy by putting three kinds of herbs in his drink. One herb is in the lake behind the throne room. Another is in a small clearing in the courtyard. The third is in an old cave in the courtyard. Beware. The caves were once home to spiders. This potion will melt away the thickest webs. Find those herbs, Bilbo. And don't worry about Galleon. The herbs won't harm him. So, the Great Gate is not the only entrance to these caves. The spider web must be in there. I do hope no one's home. These again.
Someone's there! Is someone there? The White Council is moving against him. Is someone there? Must be nothing. Seems safe now. Is someone there? Is someone there? Is something there? Perhaps it was nothing. I suppose I'm too preoccupied with the dwarves. What news of the necromancer? The White Council is moving against him. Is someone there? Must be nothing. Perhaps it was nothing. Is someone there? Find those herbs, Bilbo. Then you can get us out of here. Is someone there? Perhaps it was nothing.
Place the herbs in Galleon's mug. When Galleon is asleep, go back for your friends. There's Galleon's cup. I'd better be quick about this. What was that? What was that? I'm jumping at shadows. When the herbs take effect, this room will be wide open. Oh my, that was quick. This will open the gate and send the barrels into the water. I'd best not touch it until the dwarves are packed in barrels and ready to go. Show yourself! Is someone there? What are the eagles? Flew right down into the trees. You should have seen Gandalf's face. Mr. Baggins, you will never cease to amaze. Now you must find Thorin. They won't tell us where he is. He is in the deep cellar. There is only one way into the deep cellars. Through the dark water caverns. It's dangerous, but it's the only way. I don't like sending you down there. I must rescue Thorin, and this is the only way in. Don't worry. It shouldn't take too long. I don't like sending you down there. I must rescue Thorin, and this is the only way in. Don't worry. It shouldn't take too long.
That was most uncomfortable. Upon my word. Gandalf spoke true, as usual. A fine burglar you are. <laughs> I am at your service. Now to open this cell. That was most uncomfortable. The rest of the dwarves are waiting above. After you, King Thorin Oakenshield. Good work, Mr. Baggins. I suspect I'll be bruised and battered to pieces. Get moving, burglar! We continue to Lake Town! In a barrel? Yeah. I do hope I put the lids on tight. No! Off we go! <laughs> Dwarves were not meant for this sort of travel. No! I can hardly breathe in here. Wait for me! Well... Show yourself! Was that the wind? Seems safe now. Must be nothing. What's that? Their errand must involve treasure. The storing well gone. He cannot escape the deep cellar below the stockade. Make certain they are.
Who's there? There's something strange here. It must be the wind. There's nothing out there. strange here. Is someone there? Perhaps it was nothing. Is someone there? Who's there? Nothing there after all. Their errand must involve treasure. Is Thorin well guarded? He cannot escape the deep cellar below the stockade. Make certain they are not ill-treated. Yes, my liege.
was... Who's there? It must be the wind. I was sure you meant something. Their errand must involve treasure. Is Thorin well guarded? He cannot escape the deep cellar below the stockade. Make certain they are not ill-treated. Yes, my liege. Who's th What's that? Show yourself! This smell is starting to get to me! Oh, I feel like a pickled fish. This is no fun, Baggins. A king in a barrel? Bah. Well, well, well. The barrel is quite comfortable after all. Hey, Bilbo! Any snacks for our long voyage, eh? Too much dwarf and not enough barrel. Keep up the good work. <coughs> Dwarves in barrels. Ridiculous. In a barrel? Yeah. I do hope I put the lids on tight. Oh! Off we go! <laughs> Dwarves were not meant for this sort of travel. Oh! I can hardly breathe in here. Wait for me! The barrels floated down Long Lake and carried Bilbo and the dwarves to the safety of Lake Town. 
in the shadow of the dragon's lair, Thorin declared himself king under the mountain. The people of Lake Town held a great feast for the dwarves. Their old prophecies said gold would flow from Lonely Mountain when the king returned. And while the dwarves feasted, Bilbo had the run of the town. Welcome to Lake Town. After a few days rest, we'll be ready to head up to the Lonely Mountain. Go find the master of Lake Town and send him thanks for his hospitality. He'll be by the Great Hall. Welcome to Lake Town. You should speak with the master of Lake Town. His hospitality is exceptional. These people treat us like kings. It feels good to be a legend. You must be the expert treasure hunter who travels with the dwarves. You certainly are a curious looking creature. Well, I could say the same of you. Pleased to meet you. Bard is of the line of Geryon. His fathers were kings of Dale until the town was destroyed by the dragon Smaug. Only tragedy will come to those who wake the dragon. Mirkwood was once beautiful. They called it Greenwood the Great. But how some creatures have fled its ruin, all except the Wood Elf. I don't think I've ever seen a creature quite like you. What exactly are you? You're not a dwarf. I'm a hobbit. A hobbit? <laughs> well, now I've seen everything. We spend our nights guarding this town from goblins, while the criminals are allowed to run free. Move along, citizen. This is Bard, the captain of the town guard. We've heard of your many talents. We have a task for you. I hear they call you an expert treasure hunter. We need someone who can move unseen. The local wine merchants are in an uproar. Their wine barrels are being stolen at night. We want you to watch the wine stores. If you see anyone suspicious, follow him. But don't let him see you. If you learn anything, come to me. This is very important, Mr. Baggins. Your assistance in this matter is vital. Will you help? I am grateful for the hospitality you showed us after such an uncomfortable barrel ride. I would be glad to help. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude.
perfect place to hide. That must be the thief. If I don't keep quiet, he'll see me. Master Bilbo, don't lose him! What is that? What is that? Hmm. Strange. I'd better tell Bard. From your description, that sounds like Bortan. I'll have to talk with him about these missing wine barrels. Mr. Baggins, you've done Lake Town a great service. In appreciation, I'm making you an honorary member of the Town Guard. Is there anything else I can do to help? A shipment of crates has just arrived. The Master believes they contain something the thieves desire. See what's inside them. Please, accept this. Lake Town is grateful for your service. Have you tried Varden's new cider? Oh, no. Can't stomach the stuff too sweet for my tastes. Marlene and Thorin are the only ones who have ever been inside Lonely Mountain. I'm very eager to see our new home.
sure is nice of the master to take such good care of us. You should thank him if you get the chance. I've wanted to visit the Lonely Mountain all my life. I can't believe I'm finally about to see it. wants to be an adventurer now. He says the dwarves have a child in their company who carries a blade. The dwarves call him a hobbit. That's no child. Try telling that to a young boy raised on tales of adventure. <laughs> the elves of Mirkwood distrust strangers. Though they've traded with the men of Long Lake for as long as anyone here can remember.
This is the warehouse. Time to see what's inside. Yeah! <laughs> 
Bilbo! I'm sorry. The warehouse was more dangerous than I thought. Meet me at the cider house, Bilbo. I may have something else for you to do. Thieves broke into the armory. They stole many weapons, including my black arrow. The black arrow is of dwarf make. It has been in my family for generations. Some say there's an enchantment on it. I would not have this filth lay claim to it. Bilbo. This cider house is full of useful information, but its patrons know better than to talk to me. Go inside and see what you can learn from them. will run gold, they say. Gold! And all because of us! Welcome to Lake Town, Bilbo. It's good to be back after so long. Ah! I used to play right here when I was a little dwarf. I hear the stolen weapons are being kept in a warehouse. Von stole those weapons. In league with goblins, he is. Whatever they're planning, it must be stopped. Welcome to my cider house. Best cider in town, so I say anyway. Did you hear? Thieves took all the weapons in town. Keeping them at some warehouse. I bet one of these nasty lot knows where. Vaughn and the goblins stole all those weapons. Do you know anything about it? Goblins? Then I'm through. No self-respecting thief arms goblins against his own. The weapons are in Renard's warehouse. Now leave me be! Find those weapons, Bilbo. If you learn anything, report to me.
Are you Renard? I hear the stolen weapons are being kept in a warehouse. The weapons are being held in my warehouse, aren't they? I suspected as much. Here's the key. Clean the place out, sir, for the good of Lake Town.
You have the Black Arrow. Yes. And if you don't scuttle your way out of here, I'll run you through with it. Keep away from me, Toad. What do they have planned? There is an old thief named Malak who spends time in the Cider House. He's been reformed for years, but he still knows many thieves. He may know the location of the thieves' hideout. Perhaps he will tell a fellow burglar. Welcome to my cider house. Best cider in town, or so I say anyway. Are you Malik? Why do you disturb me, little one? Lake Town is in grave danger. Some of the thieves are in league with goblins. I must find their lair. That's a tall tale for one so small, but it has the ring of truth. I'll help you if you do me a favor in return. There's an heirloom that's been in my family for years. The Golden Dagger. It was stolen years ago by Vaughn and his thieves. It's in my old house, which is now full of the thieving vermin. Use this key to get in and bring back my dagger. Vaughn is just a puppet. He takes his orders as do all the thieves from Mr. Calamar. Thank <laughs> you. 
at last, me birthright is returned to me. Thank you, Bilbo Baggies. The door to the thieves' lair is sealed by a strange lock. You will need five bottles to open it. Two of them are in the cider house. The other three bottles can be found in houses marked by the sign of the serpent. The thieves who owned those houses stole the bottles from the cider house basement. When you find the bottles return here, I will try to remember the combination of the lock. Good evening. And to you. You're a lovely vision this night. Oh, thank you, kind sir. Did you know that there is a secret entrance to the thieves' hideout in your cellar? There is. Oh my. Oh my. Here, take this. Get them out of here. The combination escapes me in memory, but I do remember this. Yellow is to the left of red and blue, which is not next to black. Purple can only lie beside black and none else. Black is to the right of yellow. I regret I can't remember more.
the combination escapes me in memory, but I do remember this. Yeller is to the left of red and blue, which is not next to black. Purple can only lie beside black and none else. Black is to the right of yellow. I regret I can't remember more. The combination escapes me in memory, but I do remember this. Yeller is to the left of red and blue, which is not next to black. Purple can only lie beside black and none else. Black is to the right of yellow. I regret I can't remember more. Twenty minutes later. The combination escapes me in memory. But I do remember this. Yeller is to the left of red and blue, which is not next to black. Purple can only lie beside black and none else. Black is to the right of yeller. I regret I can't remember more. The combination escapes me in memory, but I do remember this. Yeller is to the left of red and blue, which is not next to black. Purple can only lie beside black and none else. Black is to the right of yellow. I regret I can't remember more. The combination escapes me in memory, but I do remember this. Yeller is to the left of red and blue, which is not next to black. Purple can only lie beside black and none else. Black is to the right of yellow. I regret I can't remember more.
I don't much like these goblins, but if they can help us, I suppose this is all worth it. I just hope what we've given them is enough to keep them from tossing us all in the pots. Course it is. We made a deal with them, didn't we? You can't trust a goblin. You know this as well as I do. Your master says you have what we need. Did he do his part? Yes, he has. And I see you have done yours. Together, we will rule this town. Just so we get the bearded ones. You have the map? Indeed. Let me see. The Black Arrow! If I can sneak past all these goblins and thieves, I can retrieve the arrow for Bard. Here we go. Got him!
The dwarves will try to slay the dragon. If they do, then the gold is ours. The Black Arrow. You stole the Black Arrow. It was there. Betrayal. Men, slay the goblin thieves. Fight, goblins. Fight! I have them right where we want them. Now if I can just get out and get to Bard, he can round them up. Thieves and goblins are all trapped inside. Get into that warehouse, men! You wait here, Bilbo. The town guard will finish this. Who would have ever thought someone so small could be so useful? Good work, Baggins. I found the Black Arrow. The line of Gideon has passed this arrow from father to son since it was forged in the Lonely Mountain. I am in your debt. Come visit me outside the Great Hall when you're ready to leave this place. Good evening. And to you. You're a lovely vision this night. Oh. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you again, Bilbo Baggins. This town is in your debt. Good luck on the mountain, and perhaps one day we'll meet again. The people of Lake Town said farewell as the dwarves set out for the lonely mountain. They passed through the lands destroyed by the dragon, the desolation of Smaug. High in the mountain, Bilbo saw a thrush cracking snails. Then, as the sun set on the last night of Durin's day, Bilbo saw a keyhole appear on the side of the mountain and called for the dwarves. They opened the secret passage into Smaug's lair. Now is the time for our esteemed Mr. Baggins to earn his reward. You must enter the dragon's lair. Bring me the golden cup of straw. Be careful not to wake the dragon. I suspect he will not be pleased to meet you. <laughs> you must enter the dragon's lair. Bring me the golden cup of straw. Be careful not to wake the dragon. You can do this, Bilbo. You are the bravest of us all. You've come a long way, Hobbit. I didn't think you had it in you. Be careful down there. If anyone can do it, it's you, Bilbo. You're the finest burglar in the business! Remember, stay away from his wings, and claws, and tail, and mouth. I'm quaking in my boots. Truly, I don't know how you're going to do it. Use that ring of yours, Baggins. You'll need all the help you can get. Whatever you do, don't look him in the eyes. You could fall under his dragon spell. Be careful, Bilbo. Dragons are not to be underestimated. I'd go with you, but... Well, you know. It's time for serious work. Good luck to you. Mm. Just thinking of that dragon makes me lose my appetite. Now you're in for it at last, Bilbo Baggins. There sleeps Smaug the Magnificent. If ever I am to prove my worth as a burglar, it is now. Smaug! And Thorin's golden cup is right underneath his nose.
not walk on those gold coins. Too much noise and old Smaug will roast me.
This is indeed the cup of my grandfather. Bilbo has courage and resource far exceeding his size, and good luck far exceeding the usual allowance. All of our trials have led to this moment. Now we slay the dragon Smaug, and our home and treasure regain. Ah, uh, and how do we do that? <coughs> you have no plan. Well, every worm has his weak spot, as my father used to say, though not from personal experience. Well, I suppose I could have a look. I do have this ring, after all. I'll creep down to the dragon's lair and see what I can see. Excellent plan, Bilbo. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Now find that worm's weak spot. I never doubted you for a second. Cups and jewels are one thing. We still have a dragon to contend with. You hobbits are truly astounding. You will live long in dwarf songs, Bilbo Baggins. You, you made it. Well done, Baggins. Well done. You uh, didn't happen to slay the beast while you were down there, did you? <laughs> ah, the tales they will tell of Bilbo Baggins. Incredible! If only we knew how to get rid of this beast. I can't believe you did it! You really did it! I knew you had it in you, Bilbo! Good work! Oh, good work, Bilbo! Come into the light, where I can get a look at you. I might be able to find a weak spot if I could just get high enough to get a good look at him. If I keep the ring on, perhaps he won't see me. Show yourself, thief. Run and hide all you like. You will not escape this place, bird. Look around, thief. This is your tomb. <laughs> you shall not see the light of day.
I smell you, thief. Help yourself again. There is plenty and to spare. No thank you, O oh, Smaug the Tremendous. I only wish to see if you were as great as all the tales say. You have nice manners for a thief. You seem to know me. <sighs> but I don't remember smelling you before. I am the clue finder. The web cutter, the barrel rider, and the ring winner. Ooh, lovely titles. But my teeth are swords, my scales are shields, and my breath, death. You know, I've always understood that dragons were soft underneath. Ha! <laughs> what do you think of this? Dazzling! Perfect! Flawless. No blade can cut me, nor arrow pierce me. Old fool, there's an empty patch on his chest, as bare as a snail out of its shell. What was that? Well, <laughs> I really must not detain your magnificence any longer. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving so soon, Barrel Rider. Going back to those miserable... Tub trading lake men. <laughs> Burglar, thieving lake man. <laughs> Bilbo told them all about the hollow spot on the dragon's chest. The thrush listened and then flew away toward Lake Town. Suddenly, the wind howled. 
They barely made it into the secret passage before the dragon smashed the mountainside. Bilbo and the dwarves were trapped in Smaug's lair. We must leave this place before the dragon returns. Get us across that chasm, Bilbo. There is a giant ruby down there that belonged to my father, Groin. If you see it, please bring it to me. The necklace of Kyrian is in that stronghold, Bilbo. If you find it, bring it back to me. Bilbo, if you find the spears of King Bledorthan, please recover them. Bilbo, I've heard tales of a giant golden serving dish. If you find it, please bring it to me, huh? This hall stinks of dragon. We should away, Bilbo. Now. Find us a way out of here, Bilbo. I dislike this dragon's den. For this, our city was destroyed and our kinsmen killed. That dragon is pure evil. The old songs are true. Erebor is indeed beautiful. I hate to leave all this treasure to the dragon. I have heard tales of the wealth of Erebor. I never imagined. We must leave this place before the dragon returns. What would a dragon want with all this gold? Well, it's not as though he could spend it. No worm is deserving of this much beauty.
Yeah. <laughs> 
Bilbo. All the thanks in the world are not enough. Now my son can inherit his birthright. The Necklace of Girion. Thank you, Bilbo. Thank you, Bilbo. It's good to have these spears again in the hands of the dwarves. Oh, oh, now that's pretty.
Good work, Bilbo. Follow me into the dwarf city of Erebor. It was a quiet night in Lake Town when Bard noticed a golden light in the distance. His men thought gold was flowing from the mountain, but Bard knew it was dragonfire. Arrows splintered against the dragon scales. The townspeople fled. As Bard knocked the black arrow, the thrush whispered to him and told him what Bilbo saw. Three days later, the ancient raven Roark told the dwarves Smaug was dead. And that the men and wood elves were sending armies to claim a share of the treasure. Thorin sent Roark north to his cousin Dane. He called for an army of dwarves to make war on the men and elves. Here you are, Bilbo. The first payment of your reward. A mithril vest. A powerful object forged for an elf prince long ago. No less than you deserve for your help in this quest. And now I have a very important task for you. The Arkenstone, the heart of the mountain, is locked in the treasury. Find a way into the treasury and bring me that stone. You will need to open those doors first. Talk to Oin. See what help you can give him. I would trade all the riches in these halls for that one jewel, Mr. Baggins. Bring me the Arkin Stone. open these doors, but I can't figure out how. It involves these blocks, but I'll be burned if I can figure it out.
I need to get into the treasury, but I can't open these doors. Go talk to Oin and see if he has any ideas. I need to open these doors, but I can't figure out how. It involves these blocks, but I'll be burned if I can figure it out. is supposed to be opening these doors, but he's having a time of it. I'm supposed to be in the water room, but I can't open this door. Talk to my brother Oin about opening these doors.
the way to the old treasure chamber. That wretched dragon took the grandest hall of our kingdom and befouled it for two hundred years.
Some stonework, eh, Bilbo? Puts those shabby goblin holes to shame. The treasure behind those doors is worth more than all the Shire. To open the treasure chamber, you'll need a new key. The original was broken when Smaug looted these halls. Go to the forge and ask Bifer to make a new one. To use the key, you need to expose the keyhole. Each of those chains lowers that column a bit. You need to pull all four chains to lower the keyhole all the way. the lift system. This room powers those carts up there. When they're active, we can travel all over these halls. Until some water is routed into this room, there's not much you can do in here. Go to the water room, Bilbo.
Hmm, these gears are broken. must be the room that powers the rest of the kingdom. My father built this room. It's most ingenious. These canals direct water into each room. Those that exit the front power functions in other rooms of the mountain. Those that go out the side, well, I don't know what those do exactly. Use those switches to direct the water where you will. The real trick is to get all the canals active at once. Thank you. 
like any forge I've ever seen. Get the bellows working before you can use the forge. Talk to Gloyan in the water.
the way to the old treasure chamber. That wretched dragon took the grandest hall of our kingdom and befouled it for two hundred years. Oof. Still stinks of dragon. No need to go down there.
Kingdom under the mountain is coming alive again.
The kingdom under the mountain is coming alive again! Must get the bellows working before you can use the forge. Talk to Gloyan in. Ah! 
These canals direct water into each room. Now that everything is working, you need a mold of the treasury key before you can use the forge. The treasury key mold is kept by the throne. You'll need to find some way to lower the throne if you wish to forge a new key.
Get that treasure chamber open.
Thank <laughs> you.
Open the treasure chamber, you'll... The Arkin Stone, the heart of the mountain. Bilbo decided to stop the stupid and selfish war before it could begin. He took the Arkenstone as his rightful share of the treasure and gave it to Bard and the Elven King. They offered to exchange the Arkenstone for the gold Smaug had stolen from them. But Thorin refused and cursed Bilbo. The next day, a legion of dwarves arrived, led by Dane and three armies met on the field of battle. Anger was in the air. The men had lost their homes and loved ones. The elves knew what it was to suffer under Smaug and wanted to help the men rebuild. But Thorin would hear none of it, and so it turned to war. upon you all. The goblins of the north are coming. Behold, they ride upon wargs. The leaders gathered for council with Gandalf and joined forces against the goblins. Bilbo decided to take his stand on Ravenhill, among the elves. Bold army advances on the lake men from behind, and Bard knows nothing of this attack. We need someone to deliver Bard a warning. The battle is fierce and dangerous. Who stands the best chance of making his way through? I can do it. 
they can't hit me if they can't see me, and I'm faster than those ugly goblins. You have completed your tasks, Bilbo, and I would rather not risk you to this terrible battle. But if you are determined to go, I will not stop you. Use both your ring and your wits. If we lose Bard, we lose the day. Good luck, Bilbo. Carnage and savagery. We will win this day. We must. I will defend King Thranduil to the last. Goblins may love the stench of battle. The elves know there is no glory in all this day. I'm sorry, but I don't have time to talk. The goblins are many, and we are few. I fear there is no hope of reinforcements. No time for talk, Hobbit. Get to Bard, little one. You must deliver that message. Cowards! Come out and fight! Those goblins have us pinned down! Use your ring and get us out of here, Bilbo! True warrior, Bilbo. We owe you our lives.
that catapult! <laughs> Someone help me! Corwin! I have to help him! <clears throat> I didn't think I was going to survive, Hobbit. Thank you. I'm looking for Bard. You'll have to go through there, but it's full of goblins. I'll help. While you run through the gauntlet, I'll pick off the goblins with my bow. Ready? Do I have a choice? And one for you, too. I've got you, Bilbo. 
Come on through. Let's shoot him. Mission of What are you doing here, Bilbo? Gandalf sent me! A large troop of goblins flanks you from behind! So, we have a party on the way. It sounds like fun. Much thanks, Bilbo. Now, get back to Gandalf. This is no place for a hobbit. Get back to Gandalf, Bilbo! Get out of here, now! Hello there. Enjoying yourself? Your passage back to the Elven King is blocked. Just follow this path and you will meet up with the elf, Liana. Stay with Liana. She will protect you. I have other business I must attend to.
Bilbo. Get out of here. Goblin reinforcements are advancing. You'll have to go through there. Go, Bilbo! Go! Great work, Bilbo. Gandalf sent me to find you. I need to hold this position. Tell Bjorn that Bolg is advancing from the north. Bjorn is the only one who can defeat Bolg. Bjorn is a skin changer and will be in the shape of a large black bear. Find Bjorn, Bilbo. Go! in them whatsoever. If you're an enemy of the goblins, then you're a friend of mine. I'm Bilbo. I have a message from Gandalf. 
I thought he might send someone a little bigger. Bogue advances from the north. We need you to defeat him. Perhaps I can help. Let's see what you can do. Follow me.
Bjorn crushed Bolg, the Goblin King. The goblins were dismayed, but not defeated. Suddenly, Bilbo saw the eagles, but then a stone struck his head, and he saw no more. The battle raged around him, a battle of five armies. The goblins were driven from the lonely mountain, but Thordine, king under the mountain, lay dying. He asked Bilbo for forgiveness. In his heart, he wished he had been more like the Hobbit, valuing food and cheer above hoarded gold. The old prophecies had come true. The dragon was gone, and gold flowed down from the mountain to rebuild Lake Town. Men, elves and dwarves had a new chance to unite against future dangers. Bilbo bade farewell to his friends, took only two small chests of gold, and began his journey home. He had many hardships and adventures before he got back, but that's another story.
This is the tale of Bilbo Baggins, a hobbit with no idea of the adventures about to befall him or their consequences. My precious, it must know the way out! Burn the trees! 